I've been offering a lot of unsolicited sents to the Giants. A lot. <laughs> okay. And I'm thrilled that Joe Shane called in the show after what I was talking about, their handling of the Saquon thing. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I, I, I hope next time I see him, he still talks to me. Yeah. Okay. You know, uh, uh, but, but. This team, without Saquon Barkley, would be on the offensive end thoroughly uninteresting to Giants fans. Uh, and that's with all due respect, and I, sh- I I know that's disrespectful to the other talented players that they have, skill position players. But this guy is a star, and I'm sure they're going to be like, listen. We love you. He was their Walter Payton Man of the Year nominee this year. And they're going to let him see what the market looks like. I guess that's what they're planning on doing. And saying, if you want something that's like $13, 14 15 $16 million, go find it. I, I don't understand it. Certainly when your plan is X, and now you find out that the salary cap is probably going up double what you expected, we can't figure out how to give a slice of that to this guy and keep him there. And I'm not saying that they're going to lose him. I mean, the next they have eight more days. But the fact that they're willing to let him walk is kind of blowing my mind right now. And I know he's got an injury history. I get it. And I guess they could find somebody in the draft. Man. This is going to be wild. Derrick Henry's going to be on the free agent market. He's on the free agent market. Austin Eckler's on the free agent market. Josh Jacobs is on the free agent market. They're all out there. And I guess everyone's going to take the um, the Chiefs approach. But the Chiefs approach works because they got the right quarterback. Mm-hmm. I guess that's the approach. You got the dominant quarterback. You don't need to spend 15, 16 million bucks on your running back. And all I keep saying is look at the San Francisco 49ers. Do you think they would have made the NFC Championship game without McCaffrey? Well, he literally scored a touchdown in every game but one. That's what I'm saying. Is so, that, but <laughs> I guess not. Saquon doesn't have the same production. I'm trying to, you know, give pushback to my own initial gut thoughts. But the Giants' offense is just sometimes very difficult to watch, and certainly because Daniel Jones has not been playing as well as he did in the year they made the playoffs, certainly in that playoff game. And I I believe that they, from what I heard, again, I I don't believe that this is the the case 100% because it's all rumor. I didn't hear it directly. All this stuff I don't hear directly from a team, and then I call it a rumor to cover my tracks. It's literally what everyone's talking about at the combine. That's why I have a top five – Rumors I overheard at the Combine segment, and I bring it here. But it, it looks like their decision that they made at the run, at the quarterback position last year is something that they would like to undo. Saquon is additive, man. I, I, I just don't get it. But I hope that they do make this deal because he's great for New York. He's great for the Giants. Giants fans deserve a star player like that. And I think you need that pizzazz in New York. You got to do it. I'm going to say this over and over and over again for the next eight days, so <laughs> rinse and repeat. <laughs> and if I'm the Chargers, I, I say, hey, man, do you like Southern California? And Jim goes and uses him you. as the battering ram. Mm, Get out yes, of here. Sir. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free. 